Amazon is making millionaires. Right now, I'm currently making anywhere from $200 to $500 every single day just by posting reviews of products on Amazon. The cool thing about Amazon Influencer is that it already has the traffic there. All you got to do is upload your videos into your storefront, and Amazon already sends the traffic or puts your videos in front of the people who are already searching for the products. But most people are having problems getting into the Amazon Influencer program and also getting into the on-site commissions where you are earning money for shoppable videos so this video is going to be about alternatives you can do to still make a lot of money with amazon even though you may not be an amazon influencer or you may not be able to get your videos approved for on-site commissions so right off the bat let's get into it all right so in this video i'm going to show you how you can still make 100 to 500 dollars every single day with amazon if you haven't been able to join the amazon influencer program and or amazon on-site commissions where you can earn commissions with shoppable videos this is for you if you keep getting denied for amazon influencer or on-site commissions you don't have a large or active social media following you don't want to show your face or talk on social media now these are the things that you're going to need in this strategy a website or a blog but don't worry i'm going to show you how to get one for free as well i'm going to give you a template that you can use to get started absolutely free so stay tuned for the end of this video so you can get the link for that i'm also going to you're also going to need a custom domain so you don't get banned by amazon or any of the social media platforms because they have their terms and conditions if you do not stay within those guidelines they will block you or terminate your account and you're also going to need a free pinterest account you're going to need a business account not a personal account I'm going to walk you through that through that video. And of course, you're going to need at least an Amazon Associates account. OK, that is the bare minimum you're going to need in order to get commissions. Amazon Associates usually get approved easily, way more easily versus influencer accounts and on-site commissions where they go and check your social media profiles and see if you have an active, engaged and large following on your social media account. So it's easier to get approved for Amazon Associates versus influencer and on-site commissions, but you're gonna at least need Amazon Associates account in order to do the strategies in this video so you can get commissions from Amazon. Now, I'm not gonna make a video about that on how you can get started, but I will leak a video in this um, video to where you can check it out because I've already done a video on how to sign up for Amazon. And lastly, you're gonna need a free Canva account, okay? And that's gonna be for Pinterest. I'm also gonna to show you how to do that very simple only takes a few minutes but you're going to need at least a free canva account so you can do this strategy with me okay and i'll leave links to all the things you're going to need in this video or down in the description so let's get started okay so i just want to make sure i gave you some type of proof amazon is real strict on um, associates or affiliates showing their income or making income claims on social media. So I'm going to be very careful with how I do this, but I am already in the influencer program. As you can see right here, I also earn commissions right here. This is for influencer and the on-site commissions, but I want to show you how you can do this if you can't get into the influencer program or get approved for your videos for the shoppable commissions. So let me show you the commissions I've been making each and every single day just off my Amazon Associates link. So right now around this video, you should be seeing one of my daily earnings from just Amazon Associates. Now I want to be clear, this is just for Amazon Associates, not the influencer or the on-site commissions. Once you join Amazon Associates and influencer and on-site commissions, you can separate your referral links to see exactly how much you made per um, Amazon commission method. So that's influencer on-site commissions and then just being a regular Amazon associates. So right now, currently per day, I'm making anywhere from um, one to $500, but this is one of my bigger days. I had over 700 and almost $800 in one day. And I'm going to show you the strategy on how I did it and how you can do it too. And it's super, super easy. So let's get into it. So the first thing you're going to need is a website or a blog. I choose ClickFunnels and here's why, because I used to start off doing blogs with Bluehost and WordPress when they're super easy to create um, and um, it's very stressful and it takes a long time and it's tedious and you only can really do blogs inside of those um, those softwares. The reason I went with ClickFunnels is because not only can you do blogs, but you also could do funnels. You can also have a website. You can have an about you page. You can have a, a home page. You can have a membership site and you can also sell your own products, whether it be tangible products or physical products 
or you could sell digital products. Okay. So I, I quickly learned that I can do more with click funnels versus paying for a software to do one thing. Now I will stress if you just only want to do blogs, then you can go with, um, WordPress or, um, Bluehost or whatever you may choose or whatever. But if you plan on growing, if you're in it for the long haul and you know, you're going to need all those other things. Um, I see, I, in my opinion, I see that it's much smarter just to get something where you could do it all in one. I even could do my affiliate programs for some of my products in ClickFunnels. So it's all in place for one great price versus paying for a lot of different softwares. All right. And I'm going to show you some of those things in ClickFunnels. Now I'm not going to show you how to create an account. If if you want to if you want to get a free account get a 14 day free trial I'll leave that link down in this video all right but if you click um and use my link to get the click funnels account um, i'm going to give you a free template so you can do everything that i'm doing in this video so you won't have to create it from stretch scratch but i'm also going to show you how easy it is to create all these things i'm going to show you right here in click funnels it is just click and drag and drop all right so let's go okay so after you've created your amazon account and you're an amazon associate to where you can get your links and start referring people to your amazon product pages so you can get the commissions the next thing you want to do is create a click funnels page and you get the free account like i said if you use my link i'm going to give you a template for that to use uh, stay tuned for the end of this video okay and i'm going to walk you through the whole process so let's get into it so after you've created your click funnels account um, what you're going to want to do, you're going to want to go to click funnels right here, and then you're going to want to go to click funnels up here, and then you're going to want to go to build a funnel. All right. So once you come here, after you click build a funnel, you're going to create, um, you're going to create a custom funnel. Okay. So don't let any of this confuse you. Just click this button right here. And of course you're going to want to give it your name. Now for the sake, sake for this video, I just going to call it blog test. All right. Don't worry about the group tags. Group tags are basically where you can keep all your different funnels and groups and even your opt-ins, email, email subscribers segmented. So you don't have to put anything there. So we're just going to click build a funnel. All right. So this is the cool thing about ClickFunnels. Now you'll notice I have a lot of templates. Your account won't look like this. So don't worry about it. All you would have to do is we're going to go over to miscellaneous right here in the top right, just above here. And then if we just put in blog, all right, and press enter into the search bar look at all the blog templates to get it so we got a traditional blog post we got a traditional blog page we got a three column blog post and then we got blog post style all right so the difference between a post the post is going to be the actual page of your blog where they go get the information and the blog page is going to be where all your blogs are listed so when they come to your blog page you'll see all the blogs you've been posting up until the time they came to your page and then they'll click one of the blog um, post on that page and then they'll go to the actual post of that blog and read that particular blog so let me give you an example so this is a different blog post right here and this is a template all you would have to do is just tweak this and i'm going to show you in this video okay so this is a blog post as you can see you can have one about your affiliate products here you could be talking about um wealth and or or nutrition here you could be talking about something here or there um, right here you can put your company name and all you have to do is just tweak this and put the information there they can sign up on your email list and up here is um the reason i like click funnels because i can own, i can also have a home page an about us page a blog contact us page or either have a call to action you can have call to actions throughout this entire page which is something that's a whole lot harder or not even possible on stuff like wordpress or bluehost all right but let me show you how we could do this uh for example so let's just say i wanted to do the blog blog a traditional blog page i just select that template all right so say if i just wanted to edit this page right here i would click edit page and it's going to take me inside the editor and click funnels all right boom so once you're inside the editor now i can change this and put mywebsite.com i could change the links right here so if i if i did like a blog page or whatever or a home page what I would do, I would just click this and over here, this little window opens up and then I can call it whatever I want. I could put about me a home page and then I could put my link here and then it would take them to my home page all within this funnel. Same thing with the about us. And then here I could lead them to I could lead them to my blog page um, just like this one. And then I can have them a way for to contact me with my name, number, email, however you want to do it. And then you can have a call to action right there. But it's super easy and say uh say for example as you're creating more posts 
you won't have to keep doing everything over and over again. So say this is just a template, but say you already have something here. All you would have to do is just clone and you can clone that and then you can clone this, which would be the date. And then you can uh, clone your description there and then even can, cl can clone the button. And then you would just change that information and then create a, another column down here. All right. So even if I just wanted to do an entire column right here, everything else I would just have to clone. So once I clone it, now I can go up under here and drag it just like so. And then I can even clone this little divider line and separate it just like I have it doing right here. And say, for example, I make a mistake. It's super simple. I just delete it, delete it. And right here, I have the X one right here and delete. All right. But what's cool, let's go back out of here. Let me show you something else. Like I said, these links right here, let me show you how we do it. So this would be a blog post and then this would be the um, blog page right here that they could come to. But let me show you how this would work. Let me leave. All right, so all I would have to do, so this right here is my blog pe uh, page with all my blogs. So what I would have to do is just do, add a, I click add a new step and I put blog post um, one, or you can call it two or however, but you know you're gonna be doing a lot of different blog posts or whatever. So you wanna definitely keep it um, separated so you know which one it is and you can put whatever you want your path to be one. All right, so I just do it like that, just for educational purpose of the video. Then I click um, create that next funnel step. All right, so it takes me right, right back where we started. So this time I'm gonna click, um, I put in blog again. You got, um, go to miscellaneous up top. So now I'm gonna go to miscellaneous and put in blog again. All right, so now we're back to our blog. So the last time we did the page, so now I can do a blog post and now it's gonna create that step for me. All right, so now, I have my blog post one. So this would be where I actually make my blog right here. All right, and boom. So now this is where I actually create my blog. Same thing here. These are all templates. I will just hover over here and I can put dad learns money right here. Look how simple this is, guys. You can pump these bad boys out how many times a month or a week you want. Then I could change the information here. I can collect the emails here. I could change my company logo up here and then up here. And then I can start writing about the blog and get the information and just put it here. All right, so now the cool thing I want you to understand about all of this, because when um, we're doing our affiliate program, in this text or whatever, we can also add images and stuff and everything too. So say if I wanted to add an image, image of an Amazon product, I would just click that arrow right there and click image. And what it's gonna do is gonna put a little image placeholder right there. And then all I would have to do is just click that and then add my image like so, all right? But another cool thing about this is if you've ever seen on blogs, you can highlight certain text right here. And then I'm gonna click the link icon right there. And then I can put my link, my affiliate link from Amazon right there and then press enter is gonna lock it in and make it a hyperlink, all right? And the same thing with the image, you can click the image and then you can put a link to your URL right here and put your Amazon link, all right? So I'm gonna show you how to do all of that and then show you how to start making money with your blog or your website, okay? So now that we have our ClickFunnels account up and we have, I've shown you how to do your blogs or whatever, so now you would just make a blog or a post about a particular product that you like or um, in your niche that you think your niche would like. And you could do a review that way in your blog. You could talk about, uh, you could talk about one particular product, or you could do a list of a pro of products in general. So you could say my five best vacuums, my three best ring lights or whatever you, that may be with you. But we'll just say, um, we'll just go with a ring light just for the sake of this video. So I'm going to type in ring lights. And Amazon is going to show me all the different ring lights or whatever. And we're just going to pick one. You always want to go to the product page. So we just click a random um, ring light. This is one of the ones I've actually purchased. And then on the product page, you have to be on the product page itself. And you're going to go up to your site stripe. Once you create your Amazon Associates account, you'll see this plugin automatically add it to your, your website browser once you're on Amazon. So it won't be through all the other pages. All right. So what you're gonna do, you're just gonna click text. All right, so once you click text, it's gonna automatically generate you an Amazon affiliate link. So all you will have to do is just copy that 
and it's already highlighted and just right click and copy. All right. Now you can um, bring up your notepad on your computer and here's my notepad right here. And then you can put ring like affiliate link. All right. So we will have it for quick access and we're going to paste just like that. And then I'm going to minimize it. All right. So now um, Amazon has already done all the keyword research for you. Okay. So now you can take uh, keywords from this right here and take this and copy this. So this is the title. So we're going to go back to our page and we're going to put ring like title. And I'm just going to copy that right up under that. And I'm going to minimize it again. And then I'm going to see if this particular one has a nice description. All right. So here's the description right here. So I'm just going to copy this, that part right there, go back, move myself out the way. And I'm going to put ring light description. All right. So that's one um, right here is more. Copy that. Go back to my description. I mean, my notepad. What is happening? All right. <laughs> Something else popped up. And we're going to paste that. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to keep going and getting all the descriptions right there. As you see, there's a little bit right there. Um, you don't have to get all of it. Just get what you want in your blog, depending on how long you want it to be. But you want it to be as detailed as possible so they can get most of their questions answered. All right. And I'm going to show you why we're copying this. All right. So now that we've copied our links and put them in our notepad, what you want to do is come over to ChatGPT and ChatGPT is free. This is the free version, which is 3.5. And you're going to have access to this prompt right here. So here's the prompt. Act as a copywriter, rewrite this product description from a product on Amazon. I purchased on Amazon in an honest review style for interested buyers who will be reading this in my blog. Make it fun, authentic, and engaging to read to host to hold the reader's attention. <laughs> Be sure to use keyword optimized words and phrases for SEO optimization to increase my Google visibility ranking on search engines. Include hyperlinks where I can hyperlink certain phrases with my Amazon affiliate link to redirect readers. Also include some pros and cons of this product, but end it with a positive overall review of why I still like it and why they will too. Here is the description I want you to rewrite. So what I did, I put here is my description. I want you to rewrite, put the colons, and then I copied from my my notepad the, the ring light description. So I copied all of this in that same prompt, and then I pasted it here. Now, also, if you read down, also wrote in this prompt, here is the product title, and I copied and I pasted that after the semicolon, and then I said, here is my affiliate link right here and I put pasted my affiliate link. Now here is the whole prompt that ChatGP gave me. All right, so here's my title, here's my subtitle, here's part of uh, the script and the text right here. It's even got emojis and all of that. It got pros and cons, it has all of that. And it has a final verdict just like I asked. And then even if you look here, it has the black text is where I'm gonna put my hyperlinks right here. And then where I could put my affiliate link here, it did all the work for me. All right, so you could put them here in the black. You could put them here in this black, here in this black. So everything that's highlighted is telling me where I can place my hyperlinks. All right, so now that we have this, now we can go back over to our blog page, right? Now I won't be doing all of this. This is this will be in the template, but this is I've already showed you how to do this. We're just going to focus so this video won't be too long. We're going to change all this stuff right here. We're going to change this title. So we're going to go back to chat GPT and we're going to copy this title. And then we're going to go back to click funnels and we're going to highlight that. And all I did was right click it and paste our title right there. All right. Here's where you put an image to that product. If you want to get the image, if you don't want to take a picture of the image yourself, you can just go back to Amazon to Amazon. You can right click that image and then save that image like like so. And then your window is going to pop up and we we'll give it ring light JPG. And now it's going to download to our computer. So now we can go back to click photos. So now I'm going to click that image like so and then click on the gears and now we're going to upload that image and it should be in our computer somewhere and then we're going to click open and now it's uploading into click photos and now it's in our click photos and now i'm just going to click over here to the top right click add image and then boom 
Now the image is added there. All right, so one thing I want to do right here, I'm going to put that subtitle. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, hover over this and click that uh, add new element. And then over here, it's going to pop up. I'm going to put sub headline. So I'm going to go back here and get my sub headline here, copy it. And then we're going to go back to Amazon. I'm going to start back to ClickFunnels and paste that there. And what we're going to do, we're going to make this right now it's center. I'm just going to make it left aligned. All right. And you can change the fonts on this as well. All you want to do is just go over here. You can change the fonts, change the font size, the colors and all that stuff as well. For the sake of this video, I'm just going to keep it real simple. So now we have our image and right here, you would just change your name. You would just click that. So written by, you could put your name or your business name, and then you would change the date here to whatever date. And now all I would have to do now is just go back to chat GPT. And now um, I'm just going to, there's a quicker way to copy this. I'm just going to click the copy right here. But when I copy this, it's going to get all this information too that we already pasted, but we're going to erase it. Okay. So it just, it's going to click that, go back to click funnels. All right. Now I'm going to highlight all of this and then click paste. Boom. All right. Now you see, it's all close together. It has some of those texts we don't need. You can leave those and then you can separate by pressing enter here, enter there. I think you want to keep spaced out so you have to do a little tweaking on it now it looks a whole lot better now you can go back and bold some things so say if i want to just bold this right here where it says rainbow dreams whatever i would just highlight it and then the uh, taskbar is going to pop up and i click bold again you can change these colors now here if we go back to chat gpt you see it has some of these highlighted. All right, so it says, hey there, blah, blah, blah. That's why I fall ahead over here, over the Wellesley selfie real light, green light with tripod stand. So that's highlighted. So we're gonna go back to click funnels. So we can highlight this. All right, so I go back to my notepad. I'm gonna get my affiliate link, copy that. Go back here. We're gonna highlight this part right here and then click the link up top. And then what we're gonna do is erase this ampersand or this power sign or whatever it's called. And then we're gonna paste our affiliate link there. And then we're gonna press uh, enter. So we'll lock it in. And then this right here, if you wanted to open up in a separate window right here, so we can click uh, make link open in a new window and just click that like that. So when they click the link, it's going to um, open a new window or a tab. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to test it. So I'm going to go over here to preview. All right. So this is how it looks when, um, once the website is set up. This It's not live yet, but this is how it would look to the reader. Oh, yeah. Let me uh, go back. I forgot we got to save. All right, so you always want to save it so that all your changes would be there. So I'm going to go back and close this. All right, and then we're going to click preview again. All right, so now you see that this is hyperlinked right here. So now when I click it, it's going to take them to my affiliate website or that affiliate link of, of the product page. All right, so basically you would just do all of that, take everything here that you copied and paste, everything that's in black, add your hyperlink, okay? all those things and make any tweaks or changes you want to do in click funnels all right and at the bottom you want to of course change that picture to your picture you can change this pic uh this information to you um, um you can even add your social media feed from facebook if you have that if not you can just delete it and then down here you can add information down here about about us any resources any of your blogs or more of your social media but um if you don't want any of that you can just come over here and delete them one by one by using the orange. The orange is deleting the elements. So if you want to delete it all, you'll go to the blue, like so, and delete it, and then it'll go away. All right, so you can keep there what you want. And this is how you would add your uh, Facebook comments if you have that. Same thing here, you could delete whatever. But now you have, you have your first blog post. Now that you have your blog post, the next thing you would want to do is come over and get you a domain name. Now you want to, you want to, uh, custom domain so when people click your link um they know it's a reputable company but also on social media platforms if you're just using a janky or affiliate link it, it could get your account banned on stuff like pinterest or any other social media platform in addition to that if you're just um using your affiliate link directly on those platforms 
Also, Amazon, when, not if, when they catch you, they'll terminate your Amazon Associates account. So you want to have your own website that leads them to your blog or your own domain.com that sends them to your domain or to your blog to where they could see more information about the product and see your links and then go from there. So that's the proper way to do it. Um, there'll be a link below this video for you to come here. I use Namecheap. It's a whole lot easier and it's easy to integrate and add to ClickFunnels. But you want to pick you out a name it could be your social media profile name of your business whatever you want to call it so if you just want to call it ronnie all right put dot com and then what it's going to do it's going to check and see if it's available all right so if you see that little check that means it's available if you use my link in this video you'll get your first dot com for six dollars you can also get a business email and this six dollars or whatever is going to be for a whole year um definitely want to always get a dot com don't get any of the other stuff get dot com it looks a whole lot better Using my link, you'll get it for six bucks and you'll also get discounts on all the other future um, domains that you would like to purchase in the future and emails, any of their services, okay? So that's, that link is gonna be in this video and also in the Google Doc I'm gonna give you that's showing you how to do this. Now, I'm not gonna make a full video about how to add your domain, but I will link a video that I've already done on how to link your domain, domain to ClickFunnels, all right? But you wanna go ahead and get your domain so it'll already be ready for the future steps coming up in this video. But it's very, very simple, very, very easy to do. And it'll make you look professional. And you can use that domain on all of your blogs. You won't have to keep doing it over and over. So that domain, even though you're posting new blogs once a month or once a week or whatever time you choose to do that, you can still use that same domain over and over and over. What it does is just make a forward slash. So for example, I use ronniesblogs.com. That's going to be the main page and you'll put forward slash blog one, blog two, blog three, blog four, blog five. And this is how you're going to create those additional pages to your blog like we talked about previously in this video. And then your main home page would be brineysblogs.com. All right. So I hope that makes sense. Go ahead and get that. It'll be only like six to seven bucks for your um, for a whole year to get your domain name. Let's dive back into it. All right. So the next thing you're going to want to do is create a free um pinterest account now you want to have a business account so if you see over here to the left i have a business account all right the business account is free all right but in order to put links and stuff in your pinterest account and and do other things i'm going to do in this strategy you want to have a business account so um you may first have to create a personal account and then switch it to a business okay so just make sure you do that and this is all free creating the pinterest account now once you have your pinterest account created you want to make sure you have a nice profile picture a nice background all right i'm not going to do all of that in this video it's very simple all right and you could do all of this in canva i just want to focus on the strategy so we won't take too long okay so uh, um after you have that what you're going to do is you're going to go over to create and you can create an idea pen idea pens are kind of like stories or reels or whatever and then you can create an actual pen which is what you probably know in in pinterest okay and then there's also board but we're, for the sake of this video we'll do ideal pens i like ideal pens because more more people who are on pinterest will see your pen idea pen versus your regular pen kind of like people who are on facebook they'll probably see your reels more so than they'll see your facebook profile all right so we're going to create an ideal pen it says start creating new so the first thing you're going to need to do is uh click a file to drag and drop now if you've made a review on that product you can upload your video here or you can just do a picture okay so for the sake of this just assuming that you guys don't want to be in the videos even though that you can make a review on your video yourself and upload it without you being in your face to keep it simple we're just going to do it with a picture all right so you see right here you want to drag and drop that um that file here so what we're going to do is we're going to go to canva so once you come over to canva with your free account you're just going to put in the search bar pinterest and it's going to bring you to all of the beautiful templates that you can use to create your pinterest pin all right so i'm just going to just pick any one you can choose which ones and you can do blank ones if you want all right so we just go with this one we just click this one it says customize your template we're going to click that okay so next i'm going to go back to the product page and um just copy this image you can download it and save it to your computer but in canva i've seen if you could just right click it and 
and just copy it and then we'll go back to Canva right here. And then what I'm gonna do is just, I'm gonna uh, click on the actual image or the template and put Control V. Now, as you can see, it popped up right here and um, it's like that. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna crop it. All right, I'm gonna slide this over a whole lot more and then I'm gonna click done. So that looks a little bit better like that. And then I'm gonna make this bigger by dragging it. And you can take your own picture as well and do it this way. Just showing you a quick and simple, easy way. All right, so I'm just, now I'm just trying to make sure it fits. All right, so now that good, looks good. And then here you can change the text. It says a complete guide, ring light. We just put ring light, then call it whatever you want. And then remember the name of your blog that's what we're keeping in mind all right so our blog if we remember let's go back to click funnels let's go back up um at least you're in a star with the ultimate ring light okay so we just take this part right here the ultimate ring light we'll copy that and then let's go back to canva paste and then there and then you can add your link here if you want as well, but we won't have to do that because we're going to be straight on Pinterest. So what I'm just going to do is just delete that. All right. So this is already the, 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 the size and stuff you need for Pinterest. All right. So what we're going to do now, we're going to download this. It's the only one here. We're going to make sure that um, everything looks good here. We want a PNG file. That's good. So we're just going to click download. And now it's downloading to my computer and it's done. So now we're gonna go back to Pinterest, choose the file. You can also drag and drop it, but it should be already downloaded. Let's drag that file here. So now you see it's perfectly sized up. It looks real good, okay? And now you can come over here, come back to your thing here to get the ultimate ring, uh, selfie ring light. That's your title. Go back to Pinterest. We're gonna paste that title. All right, and then you can go back to your blog and then we're gonna get that subtitle. You see how this all tying in together, guys? Copy, go back to Pinterest again, put that subtitle there, boom, boom, boom. And then um, you can do some additional stuff. You could put some notes or whatever. This is where I put a lot of those hashtags and, and, and things there. So you can put hashtag ring light and all the hashtags you want there. I'm just gonna just show you one. We won't have to do all of them. And then this is where you will put the link to your blog, all right? So we talked about, you wanna go and copy that link. I found some people just put it in. Sometimes it may not be clickable, but you wanna go and copy that link once you've integrated it into your blog with ClickFunnels. You wanna copy that link to your um, page of the actual blog so don't send them to your home page all right they're clicking it and they're cl clicking it for it specifically this ring light so don't send them to your home page send them to that blog where you're talking where you're talking about the ring light what we said ronnie's blogs.com here and of course you're going to have to add it to a board all right i already have boards set up so i put stuff to buy right there and then here's where you add tags you can put ring light like that you could put phone accessories, social media, all of that stuff that's going to help you. And then finally, you can put um, click publish or schedule at a later date. So if you want it, don't, if you don't want it to publish right then, then you can just click on this and then this window is going to open it up and you can set a day you want it to post and the time you want it to post. All right. And then once you do that, you will click schedule. And once you hit schedule or, you, or if you immediately post it, it's going to go up into Pinterest. Only thing you need to do now is to be consistent, okay? Keep posting those pins about those other products, the products you're using. Keep publishing your blogs for each one of those products. You see how easy it is to do that. It's not time consuming. And the way you'll win is you'll keep being consistent with Pinterest. And Pinterest is gonna do all the work for you because you've already gotten all the keywords through Amazon and then ChatGPT optimize it for you and you just copied it and it, you paste it into each one of your ideal pins or your pins and into your boards. And as long as you're being consistent, it's gonna continue to push those those products out in those pins to all the people who are already interested in those things, which is the same thing what Amazon does. When they click your link and go to your blog, they're gonna read your blog where they'll get more information about it. Click the links in your blog and go to Amazon. All right, this is the proper way to do that. This is one of the ways I've made that money I just showed you. 
in this tutorial. Everything that I showed you is going to be linked down below. And the Google Doc that I um, I took step by step is going to be down there so you can read along and watch along in this video and clicking on those links that it gets you there. Now, if you would like to learn how to do this and more, I leave a link below where I have an ebook and I also have a course. You can click the link that to where we can work together on helping you build your income and your wealth using infinite passive income strategies and organic strategies that I teach and I, my students and what I have made my and had my success with as well. But as always, you guys stay blessed and I see you on the other side of success.